Es el sueño máximo que... It's been my dream ever since I was little. I've always wanted to play for Uruguay. It's something that fulfills me as a person, to be able to play, to be the captain, and to have the responsibility of having a team and a whole country behind me. Since 2005, Diego Godin has made more than 100 appearances for his country. He was a key part of the squad that reached the 2010 FIFA World Cup semi-final. Uruguay was the last team to qualify for the World Cup. We had to beat Costa Rica in the playoffs, so we were the last team there. But we ended up being the biggest revelation of that World Cup. We do all we can, we give everything to win. That is Uruguay. The players are 100% competitive. And that team was exactly like that. It was obviously amazing to get to a semi-final, but it was also the way we did it. People identified with the belief shown by the players, both on and off the pitch. And had that game been five minutes longer, things would certainly have turned out different. But that's football. Holland won. They deserve to go through, and they beat us. We still feel that we needed more time, but we do feel very proud. But we wanted more. Four years later, as Uruguay faced elimination from the group stage of the 2014 World Cup, it was Godin who scored the goal that kept their campaign alive. We had to win to go through to the next round, so it was a wonderful goal for what it represented. And it was against Italy. It meant so much. It's obviously one of the most beautiful goals of my career, without a doubt. We then found ourselves in the last 16 against a great Colombia side. They were full of confidence and played a great game. It really was an excellent Colombia team. And that first goal by James, there's nothing you can do about that. He was 30 meters away and still scored the way that he did. It's difficult to do anything about that. At club level, Godin is an integral part of an ever-improving Atletico Madrid. Thanks to hard work, a lot of effort, and also the unconditional love of our amazing fans, we've managed to rise up to become one of the best teams in Europe. We've transformed the club and achieved our goals over the past few years by winning titles. Their greatest achievement was in 2014. A trademark header from Godin at Barcelona secured Los Roji Blancos their first Spanish championship in 18 years. I've always found headers easy. I've got good timing to be able to jump and head the ball to score. And you have to accept that the only opportunities a defender gets to score are at set pieces, like a corner or a free kick. So I obviously try to make the most of these. But I will always remember that last game when we managed to win the title. That match was very special. Two Champions League final appearances in the past three years illustrate the step forward made by Godin and Atletico. We'd like to have won, but as we said after those finals, this group will keep on fighting. Godin's performances for club and country have established him as one of the best central defenders in the world. And the Uruguayan is determined to accomplish even more. It would be wonderful to win a World Cup with Uruguay. And obviously, I'll fight for it, just like my teammates will. What characterizes us in terms of football and our culture is the fact that we're all competitive players that always try to give everything we can for our clubs and the national team. We're team players that give ourselves completely to the common cause and to each other. We've always believed in our team and our squad. We have a lot of confidence, and I think we have an excellent team and great players that can compete against anyone. 